Hello beautiful enlightened souls. I hope that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy. I feel as if the coming of the year closes and cycles out and into 2024. There's just so much messages coming through, so many messages that needed to be shared and upload and I am going to just be busy the next couple of days getting these information out to you. So one of the messages that they wanted me to share is a uh, year in review. Um, basically, as this entire year unfold, how it began, what I've experienced throughout the year, and the closing of the cycle. So as being part of this beautiful, beautiful tribe of the 144,000 twin flames, I'm so honored and humble that I'm able to provide you with the message from God in the universe to all of you. I also needed to share um, the gratitude and the gratefulness that God in the universe has for you. So I was guided to um, go to this deck. It's called Gratitude Oracle. It's by Angela Hartsfield. And they were so grateful. I mean, there were so many messages that came out and they asked me to pick one message out of those that came out that really resonated within my heart and within my soul to share with you. And I see why they did that because it does kind of intertwine to my own twin flame journey. So I will share with you the first uh, thought that came to mind is back in January of 2023, I was guided to go before and take specific actions before the Twin Flame portal opened in January of 2023. And it didn't just it, it was a preparation time, a preparation period. I knew, um, they told me to wait four years, so I knew four years prior to that, that that particular moment was a very important moment. And at that time, I didn't realize it was such an important moment for Twin Flames. It actually is a pivotal um a paradigm shift is what I'm trying to find for Twin Flames. And when I was embarking on that journey and being obedient to God in the universe of what it is that had to have happened, um, it really was about stabilizing the energies, taking that action to assist my divine masculine into awakening to the fullest potential of God, Christ consciousness, being awakened to the divinity of who you truly is and are. That opened a whole new floodgate of what is happening 
within the twin flame collective, especially of the 144,000. And I can feel in my hearts of hearts how much dedication and how much effort and how much passion that you have in stepping into your soul's purpose and your soul's mission for the betterment of humanity. You are awakening to who you truly are and that is such a beautiful thing and so the life you're in your view that I'm seeing is just something that is awe-inspiring and beautiful and just so grateful to all of you who has really who has really worked hard in anchoring in and maintaining God's unconditional love and light and keeping all of us grounded as you walk through tumultuous events within and without. Coming from a higher conscious perspective, you are helping humanity in more ways than one. So know that the mission that you are working on is for everything. You know, the plant, the seeds that you are planting, you've been planting all along. You're going to see, you're going to bear witness to the fruits of your labor. You'll see that is a promise. That is a promise from God in the universe that you were witness to that. And as part of the 144,000 Twin Flames, this card is really, you know, kind of says it all. I mean, stability, we're anchoring in stability, we're balancing our energies of the dark and the light within. And we have to do that. We have to heal, balance, cleanse any lower negative energies or mind patterns that doesn't serve us, doesn't belong to us, and we are bringing in the new and as twin flames. And you can see two faces in here. See, that is the beautiful thing of how God in the universe lines things up. So a message for the beautiful twin flames out there. There are twins here on this picture. And if you can see within the picture, there's a um, reflection of the tree. So yeah, we're, ground, we're rooting in, stabilizing onto Mother's beautiful Earth. This high vibration on energies onto planet Earth. And you see the cities, right? We're bringing the city of God back into the Lord. Um, this has always been prophesized and and also biblically that um, more and more, you know, everyone is going to be hearing of the one hundred forty-four thousand, and we are here doing the work. We are here anchoring God's divine plan and not only just us but all of the beautiful souls out there who's also doing their wonderful part and wonderful mission and just bringing everyone together in this beautiful harmonized energy of a new heaven on earth and um yeah, so that is the message. So let's just read from the book. 
again, it's Gratitude Oracle by Angela Brooksfield. Of stability, the message that God in the universe wanted you to know. Developing and maintaining a sense of stability and safety in your life rebuilds resilience, confidence, and daring. Having a stable base of anger positively affects your emotional state and your ability to grow, learn, explore, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Secure foundations reduce stress, make you more reliable, and help you stick with study, work, and relationships in tougher times. Your daily routine may provide a structure that feels loving and supportive, or it may be a time to change or create a schedule that reflects your current needs. Healthy habits can foster stability in your home, your relationships, and within yourself in simple, consistent ways every day. One way to cultivate a renewed sense of balance and stability is to spend a few moments each day in quiet reflection. Think of things that you have transpired and how they have affected you. Contemplate your day without rehashing all the details and feel gratitude for the opportunities and learning life brought you. Develop a routine to help keep your life in balance. Carve out time for exercise, social commitments, rest, and for self-care. Have a reasonable, flexible schedule can be conforming and reduce stress when life becomes chaotic. While routines help you plan for your day, allow for the unexpected as well. A stable environment is grounding, free up energies, and sustain your mental and physical health. Devoting time to mundane tasks keep things in order and help identify an area that needs a little more attention or care before more significant issues develop. You might have been overlooking something that needs your extra love at this time. Different faces appear on either side of the tree. The sun seems to be radiating from the eye of the yellow face, bringing it to daytime. The color yellow may be associated with the solar plexus chakra, personal power and creating balance within yourself and how you are treated. The face on the right is in the shades of blue that moves to black. Blue can relate to inner knowing and how you see your world. This face looks reflective and portrays night. The two faces create balance. The trunk of the tree holds the image of a couple embracing. A tree can pertain to foundations you have established. The roots at the base of the tree seem to form an upside down castle. This inverted castle should suggest that both foundations are no longer valid or the change of an instilled value. Wow, beautiful souls. I hope that this message helps you and just know that God in the universe loves you, supports you, and are so grateful to all of you for all that you do. May you be so grateful to God and blessed so that you can be a blessing to others.